Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. My name is Dustin, and I am a subject matter expert in the systems management space. Today, I will be going over Dell Repository Manager's repositories. So let's start by defining what a repository is. A repository is a full list of bundles. So it's kind of like the graphical representation of a catalog. And a bundle is a group of updates for a particular server model and OS. And in those bundles is something called a DUP or a Dell update package. And that is the actual update itself that is within the bundle. There are three main types of repositories, manual, inventory, and integration. Today we will go over manual and integration as they are the most widely used. So let's start by creating a manual inventory. Manual repository, and we're gonna call this, um, and let's say we wanna do R740s and R730. And then we are using our base catalog from the online catalog that is manual. So then we are going to uh, choose our systems because we're just doing R740. And then we have our models in here. And let's just say uh, <clears throat> in this example, we wanna do all operating systems. Or let's say we just want to do Linux because we know that we're only updating Linux or all right and then we hit add and so that's really it now we have our manual repository that we created it's uh, going to look at the catalog and find what sys what updates are applicable for R740 and R730 with Linux it'll create the bundles and it'll pull all those Dell update packages from the catalog so now let's try uh, integration. So let's do uh, an ad repository. We're gonna call this integration. We're gonna use, let's use a, we can do OME, we can do an IDRAC or OMIBV and even OMIMSSC. So uh, a, a good amount of our applications allow DRM to tie into it. Let's try OME for now. We're going to do open bunch enterprise. Put in our credentials for the OME server. And basically what this is doing is it's going to go ask the OME server, hey, what devices do you have in your inventory? And what inventory do those devices have? One of the benefits for using this is that you actually get a smaller footprint. You don't have to go manually pick each one. You're only gonna get downloaded what you actually need. So for here, we're just gonna do all devices. We'll choose add. And from there, it should be trying to communicate with OME and get the information it needs. Looks like it's finished. And as we can see, all the devices that I have discovered in OME are showing here. So that's, that's pretty much it with repositories. Um, I hope you enjoyed my video. Thank you and have a great day.